Just to set the record straight, no, today is not their second wedding. This is just part two of the extended wedding celebrations that started in Manila two weeks ago. It's my privilege to introduce you two for the second time, but the first time in Singapore, Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Khan. So initially we just shoot with like the robe and the Okay, that's nice. Thank you not many people can say that they get to marry the love of their life. And I'm so lucky that I get to marry the love of my life, not once, but twice, today. <laughs> Nine years ago, I met a man who wasn't afraid to ask the difficult questions. A man who, a year later, had the courage to make the first move. I fell in love with a guy who seemed to hold the entire world in the palm of his hand, all its weird and wonderful facts included. You are the most loving and sensitive person I have ever met. And I love you for being ever willing to put the people you love before yourself, always. Four years of wedding school work has prepared me for this moment. I love the way you never cease to surprise me in ways both big and small. When I was writing these vows, I actually stumbled upon a letter I wrote, but never sent to you, back in 2012. After reading it, I couldn't believe everything I said back then still rings true today. In it, I said, Ben, you are my light. The light that reminds me of the things that are truly important. The one that never fails to remind me that hope is never lost. I know that God gave me you even before I knew what I wanted. <laughs> I knew then that we share a bond that would last a lifetime. And that was just two years into a relationship we never thought would last. We, we had been dating for about eight years before we got married. And there was a period of time where she had to go back to Manila because it was a, a period where Singapore didn't really allow foreigners to come in. So she was in Manila for one and a half years, which is honestly, I think is the max any relationship should go, like being apart from each other, because it's actually really difficult. We Skype each other every day, but it was still very difficult. The ring is a circle. There's no beginning and no end because it's shaped after the heart of a roof who said, I will be with you. Nothing will separate us. It will maintain its value. And our hope and expectation of your relationship is it will be the same. If anyone told me back then that I would end up marrying the first man I fell in love with, I wouldn't have believed it. In fact, I think you and I were probably the last two people who would have thought that we would one day end up together. Duh! <laughs> Hi. Here's your flowers. They are very nice. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Round two, kid. Okay. All I can say is that there's no one else I would rather spend the rest of my life with. We argue, we fight, we disappoint each other, but through it all, we love each other and are willing to put in the work to keep us going. As we continue on the next leg of our lives together, may we never forget what God has done to bring us together and never give up the fight. I praise God for bringing you into my life. I will be faithful and true whether we are together or apart.
whether in times of blessing or hardship, whether I'm proud of you or upset with you, in sickness or in health, until my dying breath, in the presence of God and these witnesses. Today and every day, I promise to be your partner in crime and your biggest supporter. I promise to strive toward a relationship that reflects the love God has for us. I love you, Benjamin Khan, and I will spend my whole life showing you how grateful I am to spend it loving you.